So we've gone from what we would regard as typical cuffing wheels with the chapels uh, to the standing stones to the portraits. Um, now on to this one. Now this is from earlier in Cuffin's career and while many might not recognise it as typically Cuffin, it, was, it is quite typical in its style from his early period, isn't it? It's almost, uh, I'd, I'd say, well the early 60s, but it's almost a bit of a transition period from brush to palette because I can definitely see some uh, brush strokes as well as the palette there but um, as you say unusual and the fact it's very very busy yes that's which right. you don't normally find with um, with cuffing paintings of a, a, a scene such as this you'd be uh, you'd expect um, Donald McIntyre maybe uh, to, to be painting uh, something like this with you know four or five boats and uh, but 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 he's got the the black lining around the rocks, which is very, very typical of um, of fifties uh, work, actually as well. And the uh, I'm not sure if it's the Harbour Master's house, but quite prominent there. Uh, this is so. This is Chemice Bay, which of course is Anglesey, not a part of Anglesey that is synonymous with Cuffin. Actually, um, there seem to it seemed to be a territory for other artists. But, um, and also boats, we don't see many boats, no. uh, fishing boats in Cuffin's work, do we? Um, but as you say, this is a transition piece really, where um, Cuffin was moving in a certain direction and some of the colours remain in his later work, but you're spot on, I think it's very busy. When we say busy, we mean lots of small detail um, um, creating a a, a, a very textured finish to the painting. This is this is very unlike his later work. Around here is very unlike his later work. Um, but stylistically, quite typical of this period for Cuffin, um, but slightly different in terms of the subject matter, I think. As you say, it's quite detailed, also quite precise, but I was surprised as to how precise he was with things because some of the some of his drawings for example that were done in situ or plain air and um, you think well he'd finish but he'd finish a lot of them off in the detail you look at the roofs and the chimneys it is uh, and, and the colors are fantastic i mean if you if you if you, if you look at the sky above here there is a it's a yeah. slate a battleship gray yeah. sky that perhaps is slightly darker at the top and lighter at the horizon and then you've got these slate greys here, um, very Welsh colours, very um, earthy, um, Penryn Quarry colours and, um, and, and, and these greens which are, are quite typical of Cuffin. Um, the colours you can see are very much Cuffin, it is, it's the composition that is different. Um, and, and the style, because I think you, I think you're right. He, he's used paintbrush, and he's used palette. Later on, he was just using palette knife. So um, it's a very interesting painting, and very, very pleasing to the eye. I would say. Mm -hmm.